Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is James White with Freaking Reviews, bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. But today I'm comparing three types of so-called indestructible shoes. There's a type of shoe that are called indestructible shoes, and there's also a brand called indestructible shoes. So sometimes I'm referring to all of them as indestructible, sometimes I'm referring to this one. But this is the indestructible shoe brand, and all these shoes have a metal shank in the sole, steel toe, and they're supposed to be good for outdoor use, for workplace environment, and they're supposed to be indestructible. This is the Rocket B Indestructible Shoes, same features. And these two cost me approximately $70, the Indestructible and the Rocket B. I've also got a popular choice on Amazon. This is the Swadex. Sometimes I refer to it as the Amazon shoe as well. But this one also has the same features and this was about 45 bucks. And finally, about halfway through the video, you'll see this Brahma pair of steel toe boots appear. And I bought these at Walmart, so sometimes I'm referring to them as the Walmart boots. These do not have a metal shank in the sole, but they do have a steel toe. Now I started this off like a normal review. In fact, here's the original intro. Now today I've got three pairs of indestructible shoes that have been heavily advertising online. But somehow this evolved into something a lot bigger than a normal review for me. So without further delay, let's get right to the indestructible shoes compared. All right, so my son and I are at the park. We're going to play some basketball. We're going to try all three different pairs of shoes on and see how they work as far as comfort goes for an outdoor shoe because all these advertise as not just being indestructible, but also being shoes you can wear for re regular everyday use. They show people hiking. We're going to play some basketball and see how they hold up. That's next. How do they feel at first use, huh? A little weird. A little weird? All right. All right we're going to shoot some hoops in, the, in our shoes now and see how they go. This one's for you, Brooke Lopez. All right, so we had some fun playing basketball. Let's talk about each one of these real quick. Just as Now this is just the first part of my test. This is just the comfort and use as an everyday type of shoe. So let's talk about the Rocket Beast first. What are your thoughts about those, Brand? I think uh, I think they felt pretty good. Like the inside material was pretty nice. I mean, I. Uh, this one you feel like you're stepping on a piece of metal too, but it's not as evident as the indestructible shoes. Yeah. I feel like this one was a nice balance between the three. I felt like I could feel the toe piece more. Like the uh, the it seemed like right there my toe I would I would feel that when I jump. So I'm not sure about any of these for basketball really, but yeah. just as far as walking goes, I felt like I felt the toe the most on these. All right, now the indestructible shoes. What do you think about these? I thought those were the least comfortable to play oh, really? basketball in, for sure. Um, I did feel like they were very heavy, not really good for running or basketball necessarily. They're very sturdy though, but I don't know if they should really be marketed as, as an outdoor type of shoe because it seems like it's too heavy for any kind of running or anything like that. Yeah, for running it's not really good, but I feel like these are like design wise they look these look the best and ooh ah <laughs> and they feel the best made out of the three yeah they feel pretty well made all right let's talk about the amazon swat x next how's that look yes no okay so what do you think about these these were definitely the best ones to play basketball really okay what do you think i felt like they had the least arch support they uh, had the least arch support among these three however you didn't have as much uh, resistance going down like you did with the indestructibles, and you didn't feel that much in the toe like you did in these ones. So I'm a little bit torn on, on these as far as which one works the best for outdoor use. So I don't know. Um, we have a lot more to go though. It's tough to say at this point in time which one is the best of the three. Right, but I got my friend Justin. You know Justin, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I figured the best person to ask when it comes to trying to destroy something is someone who can build something. And Justin is the wizard at building things. So I'm heading over to Justin's next to see if we can put these to the real extreme test. Sounds good. All right. All right, guys. So I enlisted the help of my friend Justin from the fabrication series. 
and he is going to help me break down these shoes and see what's really underneath the hood. So I'm going to go inside and see what Justin can do to help me out. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm here with Justin from the Fabrication Series, and Justin is going to help me deconstruct these shoes and see what's really underneath the hood. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Be good. Yeah. I've always wanted to do stuff like this. Got a machinery like t shop full of tools here. And just... Yeah. Let's tear them up. <laughs> as soon as I saw the, the commercials for the Indestructible Shoes, I thought about you because I knew this shop would be the place to see if they're accurate or not. So it'll be fun. You definitely do it. All right, let's get right to let's it. Rip them up. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Take a few of these, stick it on that. Now we've got a... That's going to be savage. <laughs> we got overdone, seriously hardcore board wood. Yeah, okay. that's the next level over the wood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many professional internet welders do you have on your uh, channel there, James? Well, I guess we'll find out soon I'm enough. Make sure that I put down extra pretty well. <laughs> Just set your hand on it. <laughs> I don't think so. Now it's going to be hot and pointy. Whoa. <laughs> it is smoking. Yeah. <laughs> Indestructible shoes, we shall find out. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> the tree, I got to make sure my accurate, uh, yeah. accuracy is good. Here we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be good. Okay. This is a this is a control shoe, by the way. This is oh, a regular yeah. old Nike. Nike. Junky old Nike. All right. Thank you for not having smelly shoes. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, did it come through? Yeah, I got it. Oh, we came through. Okay. Went right through the bottom. Try a little force. Yeah, not much. Oh, wow. I went right through it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. Come on, really? <laughs> no. Oh, <way. laughs> Worse. Oh, wow. Look at that metal wow. shank. It just peeled back. Oh, see That's that? sharp, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, you didn't even I, I think it actually did worse than the Nike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what the pressure one now? Yeah, pressure. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, just right through it. That felt a little harder than the Nike, though. Okay. It's a lot less pressure than a 200 pound guy stepping on something. Yeah. Well, the good news is it doesn't leave any. Uh, oh, it looks any good. Marks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Resale value is incredible on this. This would be great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you doing, were you doing these harder than that? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, uh oh, oh, whoa, whoa, here I we go. I yeah. time. Don't move. That's over there in the corner there. Okay. I think it's through like right there. It's Just almost. can't get past this little composite. All right. Well, that's kind of a plus one, I think. <clears throat> wow. I was actually lifting myself up for that. Yeah. <sighs> It's not going Let's through. Look at the strain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going through. That's uh, twisted. Wow. <sighs> oh yeah, it's a little duller now. It bent my friggin' nail. Oh. <laughs> okay. Actually dulled your nail. I think it did. Wow. I mean we got it pretty sharp again now. Okay. I mean no. Okay. <laughs> Paper test. <laughs> this is the actual indestructible Indestructible shoe, right? shoes, yes. And here we go. Ooh. I think I got it. You went, you got through? Yep, there it is. Oh, I did go through. And this one, you see a little bit of metal sticking through there too. Yeah. I think you oh, bent the nail. nail. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's not really indestructible, is it? Doesn't seem to be. <laughs> now with the sh more sharpened nail, let's try it again. Sharp-ish. <laughs> Sharp-ish. And it just went through another shoe, so. Oh, oh wow. We go. Whoa. Oh, wow. I got that all the way through. Dang. I like how you gave me the, the, the dull nail so I looked like I was a, weak, <laughs> a weakling on there. <laughs> let, the, let the weakling go, try this now. Sorry, James. <laughs> well, your physique, you look way better on camera than I do. I mean, you got like muscles coming out and stuff, you know? <laughs> Oh, right through, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, well. Okay, so none of them. Did any of them pass the test, do you think? 
I mean, they all did about the same. I think uh, I might I might actually wear that, but I don't intend on stepping on nails in the shop here. But well, we got more tests to do, so let's see what else we can come up with. All right. So now what we're going to do, we have the the homemade nail on on this base. We're going to try some nail a nail through a piece of wood, which is a little bit softer. It's a huge nail. It's a big nail. <laughs> and then we're going to see if maybe a different surface, a different type of material gives us different results. This looks like a workplace hazard right here. Yeah. This is the this is the <laughs> as seen on TV definition of workplace uh, hazardous like stepping on stuff. Right. right? That's that's the epitome <laughs> of I need these shoes. I have Justin doing the control old Nike on the nail in the wood. Oh, right through it. Did it? One oh, shot. geez, yeah. One shot right through wow. it. Wow. I think we bent the nail though. Oh, there. that was nothing. No, yeah. almost no pressure in Piece that. Piece of cake. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's not a good sign. It's oh, definitely right not to the same spot. Right so. through. <laughs> Come on. Ah, ah there he goes. Whoa. Oof. But um, certainly more pressure than the Nike, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> most definitely. Is this the shoe, the shoe shank redemption? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh, that went. Oh, through. that went through. That went through. Is it through the same hole? Nope. Nope. Wow. Ugh. Look at that thing fold. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna. It's not going through. I can feel it go into this rubber and then it stops. Yeah, that's where the shank is. Yeah. Let's try the indestructible shoes now. There we go. Oh, that went through. Jeez. In your foot, right yeah. there. <laughs> that's all the way up into your ankle. <laughs> Sciatic nerves? Yeah. We'll trim those off for you. Imagine the workman's comp for that one. Oh, that, oh, that, yeah, just yeah, that, one. that just went through. That just went through. Yep. We're in. I just feel like it's... I can't get that one to go through. We're gonna try a one nail step test and we're gonna use a piece of metal so we don't hurt our feet. Yeah, this... I mean, after smashing them down, I don't really trust it. So the way I see it, this will be your load. It's right. dispersed. Right. Right. So if it, even if it goes up and hits the steel, that means it went through your foot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and since I don't dare step on any one of these. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? After those first tests, I, I can trust an inch, inch thick of steel. So okay. this is like, you know, 200 pounds of guy on stepping on a nail. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. Did it go through? I'm sketchy. <laughs> it went through the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're oh, definitely yeah. got through. It's so through, yeah, okay. okay. As expected, that one didn't do too well. Oh, oh it went through. Geez. I heard it go through. I heard it go through. God, this is scary, man. <laughs> Look at that. Here we go. Oh. Oh yeah, we got it. Did you go through? Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Time for the indestructible shoes. Indestructible shoe. Yep. You felt it? I, that was immediately I went that, through. felt it, yeah. That immediately went through. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There it is, yep. So did any of these pass this test? No, but I'm not a scientist, but I'm pretty sure that's what the infomercials look like. <laughs> well, the infomercials have a whole bed of nails, so of course you're going to not penetrate it. It's like, it's like the old parlor chicken bed of nails. I mean, I mean we could always try it. Yeah. We always have more nails. <laughs> If you've got a whole bed of nails, it's not much different than stepping on some concrete. Yeah, you're not going to go through that. There's load dispersement out through all of it, right? That, that yeah. brings me back to the, uh, you know, the old trick where you got the bed of nails and one dude's like smashing a, like a cinder block over another dude's yeah. chest with a with a with a sledgehammer, right? <laughs> right. He doesn't he doesn't get stabbed or whatever through the back because there's so many nails. It's where he's spread across all that. So right. That's an old like fifth grade science trick. All right. All right, so we were about to start the steel toe test, and we both realized that there's a standard, which I can't remember the name of right now. I'll put the standard right there, right there, 
But there's a standard that the steel toe shoes and boots have that I'm not sure if any of these indestructible shoes actually meet. I didn't see them on the website or the Amazon description. So while Justin is actually uh, preparing the test to drop a 50 pound block of steel on his shoes, I'm at Walmart here. I'm going to get a pair of shoes or boots that actually adhere to that standard and see how the indestructible shoes and the Amazon shoes compare to those. So I'm going to pick those up and head back and hopefully Justin's done cutting that big slab of steel to drop on the steel toes. All right, so while now James is out buying the boots, I gotta come up with a uh, drop test here. Now, per the ASTM standards of those boots that he's buying, uh, it turns out that we need to get a 50 pound weight drop from a height of 18 inches, and we should have no more than a half of an inch of compression or what the end result would be on uh, a pair of men's shoes. So this big old chunk of steel here, this is solid steel. It currently weighs in at 53.9 pounds according to my scale. Uh, so we need to do, uh, after some quick math, we need to chop off about three quarters of an inch and that should bring us right to 50 pounds. So this is gonna take a moment, but we'll get it down. So Justin right now is welding an eye bolt onto this steel block. And we're gonna drop those on the steel toes of all four of the shoes we have to test. It weighs 50 pounds. Let's do a test drop and see what it sounds like. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, my ears. <laughs> wow. Woo. Yeah, that should, shoes underneath that. That should do it. <laughs> that should do it. So now it's time for our steel toe test. And what we decided to do is we're gonna cut the steel toe completely off of these shoes and drop a 50 pound weight on them from exactly 18 inches up. We got some slow-mo set up here to see how it really looks. So Justin's getting it prepared right now and soon we're gonna do the drop test. Indestructible shoes versus the We're gonna do the boot next <laughs> with the tag still on there. So Justin is getting very technical here. He wants to make sure it's exactly 18 inches from the top of the shoe. So he's getting fancy here, measuring it out. Yeah, we, well, we've determined that the uh, 550 paracord, when it's actually hanging with a 50 pound weight, it'll preload it roughly uh, about half to five eighths of an inch. So I'm just making sure that we set it up just right. We've already measured the shoes, so that way when uh, we set them underneath there and I get all this locked up in place and ready to roll, they should sit exactly 18 inches above those steel toes. It's a little primitive, not the most scientific in the world, but 18 inches is 18 inches. I'll take his word for it. <laughs> 20 inches. We're good? Yep. For the two inches two for the inches shoe? Two inches from the shoe yep. and 20 inches to the weight. All right, so we've got this 50 pound weight exactly. 18 inches uh, away from the steel toe of the Rocket B shoe. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It looks like all it did was flatten this piece a little bit. The toe test is looking pretty good for the Rocket Bees. All right, Justin's working the slow-mo cam over here. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Whoa! Oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> Flat as a pancake. Hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the steel right there. Oh, wow. That's blown out. Yeah, it is. This is flat, flat, flat. <laughs> oh, man. Goodbye toes, man. Yeah, we don't need those. <laughs> We're supposed to have a half inch of uh, clearance still left in here. That's almost touching. That's like an eighth, maybe. Yeah. That's lowest point. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, these 
fared better. They did? Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed, those are actually still there. They're a little little inflated. <laughs> How do the other ones do so bad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Basically doing is making sure that with this straight edge, the tip of the shoe lines up with the actual weight itself. Yeah. Side to side, it's gotta be pretty close. Just so that way we don't have like too many variables. But the most important thing is that the shoe actually lands the same place on the weight itself. And right now we've got it there, yeah, which and that's good. And we've done this with all of them too. Yeah, yeah they've all been lined up the same way. And then we go over to the high speed, look at the field monitor real quick. Yep. So, so they're all coming out within the crosshairs here on the monitor. Yep. So, so we know we're right on. So that's how we've been met, lining these up. So th there shouldn't be much variation as far as placement goes. Oh. <laughs> You can see a little bit of a bulge here on the side like it was hit. Just a little bit. Not much. See that there? Oh yeah. I trust my toe in that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not science. There are variables that we can't control, but... It's not a laboratory. <laughs> oh, like I said, 18 inches is 18 inches, 50 pounds is 50 pounds, and if they all lined up to this straight edge, I mean, it's a drop. <laughs> right. I don't want my feet underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do now is cut the toes in half and take a closer look inside. Boom. This is the indestructible. Indestructible, okay. Yeah, indestructible. Well, you can see there's some deformation for sure. Whoa. That is your toe <laughs> on steel. Used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be your toe. Wow. wow. I wonder if the other one uses like a hardened steel and this one's like a cheapo steel or something. It seems like the Rocket B and the Indestructible shoes were harder to cut than the Amazon Swat X. And the boot really, so it seems like the Swat X were easier to cut and the toe smashed down more. So you get like <laughs> 200 and some odd dollars worth of shoes sitting here. Pretty much, <laughs> We're yeah. just cutting open. Are the part numbers the same on those two? EN125, EN12568. Oh, there is a six. Looks like it's almost the same steel toe, I'm gonna say, yeah, right? Yeah, that's... Almost the same part number, in the same spot, yeah, with the same the font. Look on these, though, now. See that? Amazon versus Rocket Bee. This... It looks oh, thinner. Right. Doesn't it look thinner? We'll find out. 58 thou. 75, 76, 77 thou. This is thinner. Yeah, that's why it's smashed down. Holy wow. The Amazon. Yeah, I think these are the same steel toe, to be honest. I think those are the same. They probably are. And what about the what about the boot? Uh, 7 thou. Or so, 70 thou. So, so those three, the Rocket B, the Indestructible, and the boot, those three are about 70,000, right? Yeah, we'll just call it in the 70 range. Just a little bit bigger than a 16th of an inch. This like officially, 50 thou? Yeah, so so thinner than the others. Yeah, 20 thousandths of an inch smaller. That's so disappointing. <laughs> I had so much hope for these. The uh, Amazons just kind of fell off the, off the cliff on this one. Yeah. I mean, and they were doing really well at first too. I'm kind of blown away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, measuring the shanks here, what do you think? 17. This is the indestructible shoe. Yeah, that was, that was the indestructible. Really good glue on this one, by the yeah. way. It's the only one I had to cut out of there. Probably stay together pretty well with it. Good, yeah, that good. So it gets some longevity there. Swatex now? Ten thousands. Okay, so, so about seven thou or so smaller. A smaller. Rocket B now? Rocket B, well, about ten thou or so. Okay, so the so indestructible shoe is a little bit thicker. Maybe, it could just be, you know, I mean, the difference is like, could be the glue, could be, uh, you know, the coating on it, something like that, but it's coming up solid pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty consistent. Yeah. That seems like it's a little thicker. <laughs> well, how did it do so terrible on the freaking sh on the shank test? I, don't, I think that I think that <laughs> I think that this thickness just isn't good for stepping on nails. Yeah, yeah. perhaps. That'll save you <laughs> fifty thou worth of cardboard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun. What do you think about these shoes? What are your opinions after uh, after tearing these things apart? 
Uh, they need more toes. <laughs> they need more toes, for sure. So tell us what you think about the Amazon Swatex shoes. I had hope for them in the beginning, right? They were bending the nails up and, yeah. you know, they seemed to hold the most. But at the same time, when it came down to crushing those toes and we actually measured them out and find out they're thinner, like, that's kind of scary. I don't know if I would keep my, uh, my feet in these or not. I don't know if I'd want to. What did you think about the Rocket Bees? It seemed like the exact same shoe as the Indestructible shoe, yeah. but... The indestructible shoe had more glue. They would yeah. they would stick together and hold together longer. Yeah. I mean, for you know maybe that's the only price difference, but they looked identical. I mean the part numbers are practically the same, the construction of them the same, everything. Yeah, it was very similar. I have a feeling that maybe some factories may have made some of the parts at the same place. I mean Probably. that's con conjecture. I don't know for sure, but it, that's that's a guess. You know. How about that Wally boot? The Walmart, yeah, I mean, really for twenty three dollars, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> were, were they like thirty eight bucks. What I mean, the price tag? No, it was so twenty. It was twenty three. Were they really? Yeah, yeah wow. twenty three dollars. Yeah. I mean, and they kind of do the same thing <laughs> there anyway, but you can't really step on anything. But. Yeah. So if you had to pick between the three, not the, forget the Walmart one. If you had, to, yeah. <laughs> if you had to pick between the three, which one would you pick? Indestructible. Indestructible yeah. shoes. I think so. I I would go the indestructible shoes also, because. The, the, two, the toe was as good as the other three. It was better than the Amazon. The shank was as good as the others. The glue was the best. So I think that it, overall, I think that it was not by a wide margin. <laughs> I still wonder if I would put them on my feet. What, I mean, would you, would you buy any of those? I, you know what, I might go for the indestructible really? ones. Over the Walmart ones? Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. The Walmart ones, they just, they that's a Walmart shoe. Walmart. <laughs> there you go. I give props right. to the boot though, I mean, but yeah. All right, well, I I mean, this is not scientific, but based on what we could figure out, that seems to be a, by a small margin, the instructable shoes. Yep. I got one more test to do back at home, and I'm going to wrap things up. Right on, All right, man. thanks, man. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for coming. All right, appreciate it. All right, I know this video is getting pretty long here, but I got one more quick test to do. Now, the Rocket Bee promotional video says it's 100% waterproof fabric. I think the Swadex also says it's water resistant. I'm not sure if the indestructible shoes mentions being waterproof. I want to see if these are all waterproof. Now, since Justin and I kind of destroyed one shoe of each, I have to put one different shoe on each foot. I only got three lefts and a right, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But I've got my pocket hose silver bullet back there I just filled with water. I'm going to put these on and see how waterproof they really are and how skid proof they really are. That's next. I got the Rocket Bees and the Swadexes right now. Yeah, my feet are wet. My feet are wet. That didn't take long. They're other wet. Oh, that is not waterproof. Sorry, guys. <sighs> All right, let me switch the other ones now. All right, I'm still wearing the Swadex. It's the only right I've got. So let's try the Instructables. Oh yeah, right through it. Right through it. Just for comparison's sake, let's see if these Brahma Walmart ones. Hey, that's waterproof. What do you know? And my foot's wet again. Let me try the anti-slip now. Whoa! This is the Swadex. That does not feel anti-slip. It feels very slippery. How about the Brahma? Oh, that doesn't slip at all. Now yeah, these Swadexes are very slippery. Indestructible shoe. It feels better than the Swadex for sure. And Rocket Bees. That, that feels pretty good. Doesn't, not slipping. I'm going to say no to the waterproof fabric. I mean, maybe the fabric's waterproof, but when you have a tongue in there, the water's going to go around it. So even though their promotional video says it's waterproof with a hose spray on it, I'm going to say no. But the indestructible shoe and the Rocket Bee both did well in the non-slip test. Swadex, not so well. Actually, pretty pretty bad. And the Brahma boot also did pretty well. So once again, the Swadex is kind of way in the rear. The other three did pretty well as far as the non-skid test goes. None of them are waterproof. So that's all I've got, guys. First, I want to thank my son, Brandon, for his help with the early part of this video and my friend Justin from the Fabrication Series for his part. And let me take over shop for the second part of the video. Both those guys have YouTube channels. I will link them below. Please check them out. Now, I already know what the keyboard warriors are out there going to say. As they say with every review is you should have done this or you didn't do that. But I did check the advertising claims. All of the shoes show a nail being used, but they usually show a bed of nails. I used one nail, which is, seems more realistic in a workplace environment. And I found that a nail can penetrate these soles even with a metal shank in the soles. All of them show the steel toe being tested out. I found that the Rocket Bee and the Indestructible Shoe actually hang with an ASTM standard 
work boot, but the Swadex did not. They all seem to indicate these are good for outdoor use. I found that playing basketball, even light basketball, running around walking, they're kind of heavy. They're not as comfortable as an athletic shoe. They're more comfortable than the average work shoe, but I don't think that I would use this in place of regular tennis shoes. And finally, the Rocket V showed it being sprayed with water. I sprayed all of them and none of them were waterproof. So really, I think the Rocket V and the Indestructible shoe are actually better than an uncomfortable work shoe, but I think that the advertising claims are a little bit overhyped. I can't duplicate some of the things they show there. To me, they're a durable shoe. They're not indestructible. If I had to pick one of the three that I tested out, I would give the slight edge to the indestructible shoe because it seemed like it was better made. It had better glue. I think it's going to hold up longer over time. Have you used one of these so-called indestructible shoes? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.